hello welcome friend in this video we are going to create integration in that integration we will add review parameters or uri parameters so what is review parameters and uri parameters in this video i will explain you more so let's begin so before going to start i request you to if you have not subscribed this channel yet please subscribe this channel and don't forget to like this video and obviously if you want to motivate us more you can make a comment on that video so that like it will generate us it will give us the motivation that i will create videos again and again so let's begin for creating the integration i will click on the create button as you know that i have to create app driven integration where i can add the review parameters i will select application after that i have to add the name so i will use xx app driven driven that's why add and the integration for adding the review parameters so i will give the name as review parameter integration 01 now i will click on the create button so you can see as once app driven integration or the application integration created we don't have any endpoint here right so we have to add the endpoint so that we can configure the request response payload we can configure all the endpoints all the details related to the review parameters or everything so now we have to click on that the, the trigger part and here we have to select the adapter so as i have created already created rest connection that uh, uh, xx rest i will add this one so once we added it will ask the name and point so this integration this endpoint is going to help to initiate the integration start the integration that's why i will use a start and this is the rest endpoint that's why i will give the name as rest now next as i have to give the name as a uri parameters uri url so i will just give the name as test uri parameters and now here if you will see we have option as a method so i will just put method as get as we are not going to perform any much more operation and here we have to add the review parameters that's why i will add this one i will select tick one so once i will select this tick you can see the once i will go for next it will show us the parameter option for the review parameters so here you can see this is the request parameters or you can say the review parameters here and here you can see request parameters we have to give the name and we have to add the parameters so here right now we don't have any parameters as i want to add the parameters just i will click on add so here for adding the i have to provide the name so for name giving the name here we have to click and here we have to pass so suppose i just want to give the name as p1 p and a score val1 value 1 right and the data type we have to select so as we know that so suppose we are going to get to add two review parameters and the result and uh, like whatever value we will get in review parameters we will add the sum make a sum of that ones right so just i will add one review parameters and provide the values or the the, the data type as a integer now here we have to add another one so i will click on the add and i will give the name as p and the score value 2 and the integer the, the data type will be integer only now we have added successfully added two two review parameters now what we need to do we need to click on next next as we have not configured the response payload it will be ended right now click on done so we have added review parameters that review parameters we have two review parameters based on the review parameters suppose i just want to make a sum of that so i will add logger variable so that i can show you we can add the the value for the sum so suppose before going to make a sum of that i just want to create one variable so that variable can store the value of addition of the variable i will use assign assign is useful for creating the variable so i given the name here added the assign operation and here you can see we have to provide the name so i just want to edit the name of the assign one assign one instead of assign one i just want to want to give this uh the sum values sum underscore assign and here done and we are we have to add the variables right so after done we have to click here so that we can create variable so suppose this variable we want to provide as sum where underscore sum so this is the variable name and what kind of value we want to store in this variable so in this variable we want to store value as a query parameters variable whatever we have p1 plus p value 1 plus value 2 so what i will do i will drag this value 1 and use plus operation so here i will edit this one values this one instead of i will delete i will use this one p variable 1 
and I have to use plus operation so I will just provide the bracket so that they both can be separate and now here we have to provide the second values that is pval2 so now here we have pval and pval2 val both as the addition of these two will be stored in this psum right so you can see bar far sum is equals to pval1 plus pval2 now that's done I will click here for making the sum changes so once done I will click here so that it can be removed so now here in this variable we have the sum values and I want to print the sum so I will add the logger add the logger here and just give the name as sum is and I want to provide the value of sum so here these two values this is one hard coded value and the value another will be the sum values so we have concatenated functions I will use that one C O N C A T and here this is our hard coded value and now the second value will be the variable we added so I will drag variable here so instead of directly dragging I want to just edit here remove this variable I will use concat provide the values and now here we have to drag this one so now you can see the value will be sum is colon space and the value of the sum now it's done I will click again here that will be removed now you can see everything is fine I will click here to make this as a horizontal here we have some error so let me edit and check what's the error okay this is the error so here what we need to do is that let me truncate this one and again we have to use the function so for creating calling the function just select here and search concat here this is concat function I will drag this concat function here so now I will drag this concat and here this is a first string so first string I have as a sum is hard coded value and now the second string second string is our variable right so variable where is we have variable we have this var variable so I will add now this is done right so once this is done we have to come outside and you can see we don't have any error so now the integration will be initiated we will have two review parameters that value will be whatever value we will pass will be added here and it will show you in the log message so let's save the integration it will be in configure right now it's in draft once the save done so here you can see we have we have not after saving we don't have the configured because we have one error in the integration this error you can see we have the error for the business identifier and I explained you earlier for each and every integration we required one business identifier click here and just add suppose I just want to add the value one only right so done click here so that it can remove and now you can see we don't have error saved the status will be changed to configure now it's ready to run go back activate the integration so once we will activate it will take a little bit of time for activation so once integration will be activated then only we can run the integration now you can see integration activated successfully for run just click here and click on run so as I have added two review parameters both you can see that review parameters are known as URI parameters you can see here right pval1 and pval2 I just want to provide the value for both so I just provide the values as 10 and the second value as 20 so whenever we are saying review parameters or URI parameters the value will be added in URL only here you can see question mark pval1 is equals to 10 and percent pval2 is equals to 20 now once we will click on run it will pass this two value to the integration and our integration will be completed so here you can see it will show you the log messages it's, it's loading here here you can see we have successfully able to see the log message so here you can see in the message started we have two variable that the p value 1 p value 2 also will open here you can see the value that the two variable p value 1 and the p value 2 and value you can see 10 and 20 and if you will go to the next assignment that sum assigned we created here you can see we passed the value sum where sum is assigned with 30 as we added the logic to add the two values and the same we print in the logger so once you will open the logger you can see sum is 30 and this is the this is the basic basic integration we created to add the review parameters so if you have any other queries you can make a comment on that so thank you so much for watching we will meet in next video